chasing is good when it comes to a high quality lead isn't it so in this video we are going to learn how to create conversational forms how to create conditional questions with the help of google forms and type forms we are going to compare these two platforms we are going to see which one is the better when it comes to customization when it comes to creating reports design interface everything when you ask the right questions in a right way the right people will show up and you will trust me you will already win half of the battle let's start all right everyone let's try google forms let's see how is the interface and uh, the customization that we can try all you have to do is just go to the forms and you will see some templates here choose one template from here quickly and or you can create a blank form if you want to go like go it do it from the scratch for now we will just choose one template because i want to show the customization what all you can do with the forms all right so on the right if you see here uh, in customization features we can change the header image we can change the background of the form there's not much we can do with the google forms but i think some people love the simplicity that is why they love google forms let's add the header image um there are i think a lot of stock images here a lot of categories to choose from or you know what you can do you can create a good header image in canva i have already created one as you can see just take care of the dimensions i'll download this and we will put this picture here in uploads let's upload that picture and uh, this is how it's going to look great now what i'm going to do is i am going to copy the description from my website and paste it here you can create on your own as well i mean as per your business and uh, now let's create a form here on the side right hand side you will see some options multiple choice of uh, check boxes drop down so as of now i'm just showing you how to create a simple form make sure that required option this is turned on okay this is very important see the most important is to create conditional questions that i'm going to teach you at the end of this video okay when we are doing the comparison and now let's learn how to integrate this how to integrate google forms so, so for that we will find the link just click on send and here you will find this link option and the embed option this is what you have to put in your uh, canva or website whatever you are using let's get started with type form now this is another great platform i would say and if you don't like the basic interface you would enjoy this so here we will create forms just fill any option whatever just do it quickly we are on the type form dashboard right now and we will create our type form right from the scratch or we can import the questions but as of now we will do it from the scratch so bring your new type form to life give it a name just give any random name and what are you creating you want to create a request quiz poll payment whatever you want just um, you know go for that okay so now what we are going to do we are going to create a simple contact form here this is how it's going to look like we can change the background picture uh, the header image and we can change the font everything is there let's create questions first um i am going to delete this and uh, we will start it from the scratch we are going to create a contact form if you see here yeah contact info let's create here so this these are the details and if you don't want anything you can delete that again like i copy pasted the description join the exclusive course and um, first name last name phone number if you don't want the phone number you can delete that i can change the background from here these are the, some paid features also and some free features as well so you can see for yourself what you want to go for and now we are going to upload one header image here remember the one we uploaded in the google forms we are going to use the exact same header image and upload it here image or video if you see it on the right you will see the option let's upload one image here cool so not bad right now what i'm going to do is i'm also going to change the background picture if you see on the right there's an option given for the background image as well so i am going to choose one beach uh, for my background let's see how it looks uh, okay we will just uh, change the brightness a little bit because we want our text to pop out now let's connect this type form 
uh, with if you're using any CRM platform like HubSpot or maybe any other CRM, Zoho, uh, we can connect our type forms with that. Even in WordPress, with the help of plugin or coding, you can do that. Okay. So these. Uh, so now when we click on share, you'll see that link, that embedded code also that you can copy the link and you can just uh, you know use this in canva or in your website for that matter now let's select some conditional questions in type form this is how it's gonna look like when you choose the option order so if you want to send your customers these kind of forms where they have to choose where they have to make a choice okay so we'll just select any random image i'll just write here shopping this is great uh, you know if you are into lead generation and if you create whatsapp campaigns or some sort of campaigns lead generating campaigns in facebook okay so here also you can create a form um, just write any question are you brand conscious yes or no or add a choice maybe whenever we create order questions we have to give them uh, choices and then we will also create another question for that so whatever choice they will pick then they will land on to the second question if they select the choice the particular choice okay so okay which brand do you love the most i'm just you know just write anything um, um gucci or ysl so this is the second question now we're going to create a logic the best part the best feature of type form um, okay so if what if our audience selects a particular options maybe they are brand cautious yes now what is the second question that they will land on to so this is how where we create the rule then now uh, we'll you know choose the option that okay they will land on to the second question only if they select yes they are brand conscious if they are not we will not uh, you know throw a second question so the second question was what brand do you love the most okay so this is how the logic is created here. with practice you will get a hang of it it's super easy you know creating creation part is not that difficult but you have to understand how to use these forms and lead generation campaigns all right now what we're gonna do is i'm on the dashboard right now i am going to go to admin settings if you have a custom domain custom domain can be also added in type form you can change the url and you can add your domain also if you want to change the url if you don't want to like show the type form written um you know on that like if when you're collecting the leads great um now if you would ask me if we can create this conditional questions in google forms also then yes we can create these questions in google form also and super easy like i'll write a question here are you really ready for the fun so multiple choice questions i'll give the option yes or no and uh, the important thing is to do the settings here if you'll see on the right let me just um untick the other options yeah required this is very important uh, go to section based on answer this is how you create conditional questions in google so continue to the submit form or go to section one or the next section so i'll i'll select go to the next section for the option yes if they select the yes they are ready for the fun then they will get the second question this is the second sequence all right then let's get you on board that's all now they will submit the form if you see here text email uh, and uh, valid email address is written down below so that's all we'll get the response so this is how you create conditional questions in google so yeah that was all for today thank you for watching this video till the end if you have any particular doubt or question or any video you want me to come up with you can leave your suggestions in the comment box thank you good day